Hello, my name is Tierra Thomas and I'm a financial professional with True Capital. Today, I'm going to share some financial education with you all. This is also known as the three rules of money. Today, you're going to be learning about number one, compound interest, number two, taxes, and number three, investment options. Let's get started. So the first step we're going to take in our financial education journey is learning how money works for us. And most of all, how we can make it work for us efficiently. Today, I'm going to be sharing with y'all the rule of 72, which focuses on compound interest. One of the most important discoveries in the world of finance is the rule of 72. This formula shows us how the effects of compound interest works. To use this formula, you take the number 72 and you divide it by your rate of return. The rate of return is the same as the interest rate of whatever account you're looking at. The answer to that equation is going to be how many years it takes for your money to double in that account. So let's do an example. Say we had an account with a 4% interest rate. If we plug that into the rule of 72, we know that 72 divided by 4 equals 18. So we know that in our 4% interest account, it's going to take 18 years for our money to double. So let's say we put a $10,000 investment in that account today. Within 18 years, it would have doubled to 20,000. And within another 18 years, that's a 36 year period time frame, it would have doubled to 40,000. Isn't that great? Our money is doubling for us, but in reality, it's not doubling quick enough. The idea is that if we're getting our money to work more efficiently, we want a higher rate of return, which is a higher interest rate, so our money can double quicker. So let's say, for example, instead of having an account with a 4% rate of return, you had an account with a 12% rate of return. So using the formula, rule of 72, we plug that into the equation, 72 divided by 12, and now our money is doubling every six years. So if we put that same $10,000 investment in a 12% rate of return account, within six years, our money is gonna double to 20,000. Within another six years, which is 12 years, our money is gonna double to 40,000. 18 years, 80,000. 24 years, 160,000. Within 30 years, we would have $320,000. And by 36 years, we will have 640,000. So let's compare those two accounts. Have an account with a 4% interest rate and an account with a 12% interest rate. Although we're investing the same amount of money and we're giving it the same amount of time, because of the effects of compound interest, we see how much more efficiently our money can grow in an account with a higher rate of return. The difference between $10,000 at a 4% rate of return and a 12% rate of return is $600,000. Now let me ask you this, where do most people save their money? That's right, the bank. And do you know how much interest the bank promises you? Go ahead and go check. It's usually less than 2% or less than 1%. I also want to point out that this formula, the rule of 72, not only works with investments, but it also works with debt. So you can use this formula to see how quickly your debt or your loans is going to double on you. I highly suggest that you do this. When I first learned about it, the student loans that I had, I went ahead and plugged that in and figured out how quickly my debt is going to double so I make sure I pay that off before it does. All right, let's move on to taxes. We have three tax families in America, tax now, tax later, and tax advantage. Let's begin by focusing on tax now. In a tax now account, you have checking, savings, CDs, stocks, and mutual funds. These accounts are where the majority of people save their money. Now let's move on to tax later. Tax later accounts include 401ks, 403bs, IRAs, annuities, and pensions. In these accounts, you're not paying taxes now, you're paying them later, but when is later? Whenever you go to take the money out of the account is the answer. Now there's a lot of rules and stipulations that come along with these accounts that some people who have them may not be aware of. 
For example, the 59 and a half rule, which states that if you touch any money in these accounts before the age of 59 and a half, you will have to pay up to a 10% penalty. If you're under the age of 59 and a half, in addition to that penalty, you will also be responsible to pay your state and federal taxes when taking money out of the account. Now, here's the thing about taxes. If I asked you this, do you think taxes are gonna stay the same, go down, or potentially go up? What would you predict? If you guess it's going to go up, you're probably right. So why does it make sense for us to save all of our money for retirement in an account that we don't even know where taxes are going to be when we wanna take the money out? When thinking about retirement and taxes, it's important to think about not only having a tax later account, but also diversifying your portfolio and having a tax advantage account. Let's move on to tax advantage. Tax advantage is tax free. These accounts include Roth IRAs, 529 college savings, executive bonuses, long-term care benefits, and the cash value of life insurance. This is where the majority of the rich and the wealthy are saving their money to avoid taxes legally. Now that we've covered taxes, let's move on to investment options. We have three investment options that we're going to focus on. The first is fixed, second is variable, and third is index. Let's begin with a fixed investment. A fixed investment is an account that promises you safety, but you don't usually see growth. And this is because there's not a high enough rate of return for our money to actually grow on its own. So for example, our bank accounts are fixed investments. Moving on to variable. A variable investment is tied directly to the market, meaning that whatever the market is going to be doing, your investment is doing along with it. So you have no safety, but you have the potential of growth, meaning you have to be willing to take a risk. And the third investment option is index. An index investment is actually the best of both worlds. You have both safety and growth. The way this account works is you have growth up to a specific cap. And then you have safety at a specific floor. For example, you can have a floor of 0% and a cap of 12%. Now that we've reviewed our investment options, let's review everything as a whole. Beginning with compound interest. If we're speaking of interest and we're thinking of an investment, we want the highest rate of return as possible so that our money can grow as quickly as possible. Now, if we're talking about debt or if we're talking about a loan, we want the lowest rate of return as possible so that our debt grows slowly. Moving on to taxes. Now that you're more aware of the three tax families in America, I suggest doing more research on tax advantage accounts. Last, you see that you have three investment options. If you're a person that's looking for both growth and safety, Index is for you. I hope this was very informative for you all. If you're interested in learning more financial education, please send me an email and I will be happy to connect with you on Zoom or send you an invitation to one of our webinars. Have a great day.